Climate modeling is an enormous undertaking. I think few people realize just how complex these models are. As soon as there's a new supercomputer available anywhere in the world, there's a climate model waiting to be run on it. Because we know that many of our physical processes right now are not being directly represented. They have to be parametrized because they occur at spatial or time scales that are smaller than the grids and the time steps that we use. So the smaller the spatial grids and the smaller the time step we use in the model, the better we're able to actually explicitly resolve the physical processes in the climate. But of course, that's very expensive in terms of computational time. We're also learning that natural variability is really important when we're looking over time scales of you know, anywhere from the next year or two to even a couple of decades in the future. Natural variability is primarily controlled by exchange of heat between the ocean and the atmosphere, but is an extremely complex process. And if we want to develop better near-term predictive skills, which is looking not at what's going to happen in the next three months, but what's going to happen between the next year and 10 years or 20 years and so, if we want to expand our understanding there, we have to understand natural variability better than we do today.